Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics Corner. I'm Dan for Blue Abroad, the Palmers, I'm colloquially known. And um, we're going to look at two key matchups for the game against North Melbourne at five minutes past one on Saturday at the Gabba. Now, North Melbourne, they're a team that has been struggling. And a little background of North, they're a very handball-heavy side. They look to move the ball in chains, usually in blocks of four or five handballs, looking for quick overlap ball and looking for early entries inside 50. Now, that plays into Carlton's hands. We look for that intercept in defensive 50. They have been very inefficient inside 50 and look to counter. Now, traditionally, that has been the method to beat North this season. We know that North, though, do hold the chocolates over us. But I've identified two key matchups that I think if we can get ahead of it, we will end up singing our beloved song versus North Melbourne at the Gabba. Now, the first one we're going to look at, and I think this is a bit of a no-brainer. For me, he has definitely been top two Ruckman this year, and that is Todd Goldstein. You can see TPI rates him 87 out of 100, which puts him as third best Ruckman in the comp. And for me, you can see why. He's a brute. He does. He's, he works well round the ground. He is cracking on a bit, his old toddy, but he, he, he works his way around the ground impeccably for me. He makes second and third efforts hard. He's very tough to the contest. And he's finding a lot of the old pill at the moment. You can see his statistics this year, 16.7 disposals. It's really good for Todd. He's starting to really become that methodical chain mover. He is almost acting like a pseudo midfielder for North, for North under Reece Shaw. 2.4 marks around the ground, 1.9 tackles. He's, and you see what stats don't tell us is his second and third efforts at the contest. He gets his hands to it. He makes it awkward. He bullies other midfielders. He's, he's a very good little footballer as well with 71% disposal efficiency, showing that he uses it well. North rely heavily on handball, heavily on hitting targets from a short distance, moving up the ground gradually, using that outside run. And for me, this is where it starts and ends with Goldstein. If you can put a curb on his influence, you go a long way to beating him. You can see 241 metres gained. He gets a lot of clearance there from that centre contest. Look at that hit outs, 33 just short of hit outs. The guy has been dominant this year. 45% win percentage, that's elite to advantage 28.7. That's in the upper echelons, seven clearances, 2.71 percenters. This guy is a wrecking ball in the centre. This guy needs to be curbed. And how are you going to do that is going to be tough because good Ruckman struggle against him. But for me, I just feel that Pitt and Ett, he strikes me just watching his tenacious, ferociousness play, that he'll be up for this task. What he's got to do is he's got to look to stifle him on the ground. One thing Pitonet did really well against Gorn is when he did lose the hit out, he didn't allow that to be turned into a clearance. He looked to stifle him. So for me, what he has to do is really look for that second and third effort, pull a lot of pressure on him. Don't give Goldstein the easy out. Make him work for it. Wrap him up. Body him a little bit. Go head to head. It's going to be a tough battle. But for me, Pernet can do it. I've got a lot of faith in him. I haven't lost faith in him yet. It's going to be a tough task. But all he's got to do is win 30-40% of these hit outs. And stop 10% of Goldstein's getting easy ball out to Pollock, to Higgins and Co. It's going to be a tough matchup. But this guy, he for me, he doesn't get enough kudos. He's a phenomenal Ruckman. Very good Ruck craft. It's going to be a tough battle, but it can be done. And I'll repeat that. It's just got to be stifled. You have to stifle Goldstein. You can't allow him to get the easy out. He isn't as creative as some Ruckman. So if you can stop the easy ball, it's a lot tougher for him to do the tougher stuff. The other guy we're looking at is Higgins. Now, for me, this is another guy that goes under the radar at North. And for me, last week showed it. Without any of the top players, he had a blinder. You can see 85 out of 100 for Mr. Higgins, 22.1 touches this year, and you see the makeup, you can see how North play. Just under 10 kicks and 12.3 handballs with a 74.8 disposal efficiency. He uses the ball really well. He kind of, kind of acts like that pseudo quarterback for them just in the midfield, looking to pin passage to get the ball inside 50. 310 meters gained, that is really good in the good category. He really looks to hit up inside 50 early, and that helps Ben Brown. You've got to remember Ben Brown's skill set is his ability to early lead, and Higgins is a key component of that. He 
does look to get it inside 50 early. 7.3 contested possessions, 5.3 ground ball gets, 3 clearances, 3.1 tackles and 16.6 pressure acts. They're all well in the AFL average and he's a very good footballer. Now, for me, his influence has to be alleviated rapidly. And for me, if I was running this team, I'd be looking at Kennedy playing a role on Cunnington. Stop Kelt Cunnington getting to the smaller players. Really playing that game that he did against Lockie Hunter against the Doggies where he looks to come off him in the centre clearance and shepherd and block for Cripper and Ed Kernow to get the clearance. Because if the ball gets to him, this guy will hurt you. This guy will hurt you. For me, I think Ed Kerner would have to do a run with Raw with him. Because if he gets the influence on the ball, it's game over. He, he, he can be, he can pull them away. He's X-Factor. For me, Higgins doesn't get the kudos he deserves. Very dangerous footballer. If he starts getting his kick going, hitting up Ben Brown, it's going to be like Charlie Dixon against Parr. Eventually, one of them goals will punish you. And he's case in point. Very good laterally moving. Very, very elusive. For me, this is the person that you put someone in a run with role just in case. But it starts at the centre clearance. It goes back to Pitonet, Cripper, Kerner. They can stop the ball getting out to him. This combination, this chain needs to be broken. We break this chain, we win the game. And that was quite poetic. But if you can do that, that is how you do it. And that is what, will, for me, the midfield's primary focus will be on. A lot of good players don't know off, but these two here kind of are like the Orkins the conductors of the game it's going to be really important but for me I will put Ed on Higgins and Pitt and that just to really look to work him over please guys let me know what you think I'd love to know what you guys and girls think of the game who are you worried about who are you not so worried about who would you put on them let me know in the comments until next time Palm out